not having this attitude in your Facebook organic marketing kills your effectiveness. Hi, I'm Gabe Turner from GabeTurner.com and I'm here with my third organic marketing on Facebook tip. And it's all about putting other people first. The golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. One of the most powerful statements ever made in human history, I would say. I think that statement right there has impacted the world in so many ways, whether people realize it or not. It's powerful stuff. But we're gonna put it into practice and I'm gonna ask you to be really honest with yourself about your Facebook marketing. Are you putting other people before you? Or are you just being selfish? Are you an ultimately selfish person when it gets down to it? Are you just out for number one? Are you out looking to satisfy your hunger for money? Is that what your life is all about? I mean, I, I totally get it. A lot of people need money and a lot of people are desperate for it. But when people sense that, that that's what you're out to get in your Facebook marketing efforts, it turns people off. So you got to look inside your heart, people. You got to look inside your heart and see what's really in there. Because if that's what you're communicating to people, it's not gonna work. And I see people do it all the time. And some people do make money with without when they have a selfish attitude. I see them doing it all the time. But then I see a lot of their prospects really mad at them or disappointed in them. I call these people churn and burn marketers. They just say, oh, there's millions of people in the world. I'll just go get them and I will sell them something that's crappy and, and get their money out of them and then I'll disappear. And, and I'll just go on to the next one. So that's a churn and burn. They just, you know, they're just willy nilly all over the place trying to get anyone to buy their thing. And you know what, people do. There's tons of people that will just say yes to an offer because they they're so in they're so in need and and a lot of the marketing is at least good enough so that they can sell something but once they get into it they're like, "Oh, that was dumb." You know. <laughs> so I I can't do that. I can't do that. That is just disgusting to me. There's a lot of great guys out there, but you got to find out who the good ones are. <laughs> because there's a lot of nasty ones that are just out for themselves. They don't care. They don't truly care about the people who are buying stuff from them. And so if that's you, you need, I mean, you can continue to do your, your other way of doing it if you want. But I'm speaking to those who want to actually be friends and have ethics and have a, be able to sleep well at night, <laughs> you know? So treat people the way you would want to be treated. You don't want to be scammed, do you? No, I don't think so. I don't want to be scammed. It's horrible. When, I mean, I've, I've, I've been taken in a few times. And so anyway, how do you treat other people as you would want to be treated online? You have to think about this. Sit down and ask yourself, how would I like to be treated when someone reaches out to me on Facebook? Or, you know, I say to myself, when I make a, make a post in a Facebook group, I'm thinking, oh, well, when I make a post, I love it when people comment. And I love it when there's genuine comments. So I try, to, I try my best to leave a genuine comment. I can do it in like 10 seconds sometimes. Sometimes it takes a minute. I actually, actually stop and think and you, know, because, and you know what? It really is a blessing to that person who made that post. You know, and if, if it's a really good post, maybe they will attract me into whatever their offer is. Maybe they have something to sell that I need. But it, it'll probably create a relationship of some sorts that it might not pay off for them right away. But, you know, if I like them and I trust them, maybe somewhere down the line, I will be, I will buy whatever they're offering or whatever. Maybe we can help each other out something. It's beautiful. Facebook, you can make so many awesome friends and like you can scale that. It's so amazing. And so, but you only do that by treating people the way you would want to be treated. So, so how do you do that? You make posts that are good, put some time into it, 
ask yourself, what kind of post would I like to see? And then go make it, you know? Think about your target market, think about your ideal customer, and think about the pains and the struggles and the questions they have. And then go out and answer those for them. Solve that thing for them. Make them, help them with no, no regard for what you get in return. And you know what? When you have that attitude, people can sense that and they like it. It's attractive and you have influence when you do that. You've got to give. You've got to be a go giver instead of a go getter. Be a go giver. Treat people like you would want to be treated. And here's another tip. Tip. <clears throat> when you see someone ask a question in a Facebook group, maybe you don't know the answer off the top of your head, but you know that if you could just Google it, you could probably find it. And instead of making a snarky comment on the post, say, well, duh, go Google it. Why don't you go Google it for them and say, hey, Joe, I, I, lear I found this article. It's really great. I sol it solves that problem like that. Um, if you need anything else, let me know. <laughs> So, hey, a lot of people don't do that, but you can do that and you will stand out in that Facebook group. So take 20, 30 minutes a day, go into a Facebook group and look for questions you can answer. Be a resource for people, be helpful. And then here's, a, here's another good one. If you are good at something, if it's social media, video, whatever, if you're good at something, why don't you maybe make a post? Like say you have a moment in your day and it's like, maybe you just do this every day. Say, I've got, I've got from two to 2.45 free. Anybody wanna talk and like, let me help them with their whatever? <laughs> hey, you're gonna get a call. Somebody will message you and, and you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna build a new relationship and they're never gonna forget you. And, and it's fun to help people. It's really fun. And I found this to be true. I'll do this with people. Uh, I've been doing coaching gigs for a long time. And man, we're, we're bonded after that call. It's awesome. And, and you know what? A lot of those people end up buying stuff from me. <laughs> because they know me. People like to buy things from people they know. Like really know. Like getting on the phone with them. <laughs> You know, it's super nice when it's just on a message or whatever. But, but dude, that's, it's awesome. And that's, that's the way we're supposed to be. It's just the best way to live. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Can you imagine if anybody, everybody in the world did that? Whoa, what a different place we would live in. Instead of being a selfish, disgusting, evil place, everybody would be like, oh, you like that? Let me do that for you. Let me serve you. Huh, was it, wasn't that an interesting thought? Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> getting pretty deep here. I could probably make lots more videos on this very topic. So, those are some great things, man. You could do those for free today. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna go do it too myself, I think, if I have time. <laughs> I'm making videos and serving you guys. Anyway, that's that's what making videos. If your videos are actually valuable and they're helping people, and I hope mine are, that's one thing you can do. And then go post it. Go do it. So if you want to know more about how to optimize your profile so that when people scope you out online, because there are people visiting your Facebook profile every day, if you're if you're engaging in groups and stuff, have something for them to find when they get to your Facebook profile. And, and you don't, they don't just wander away. So go to gabeturner.com slash traffic to learn more about that. And if you want to, to get more and more organic Facebook marketing tips, go to gabeturner.com slash organic and subscribe to my channel. And so you don't miss out on my other videos in this series. I love you guys. Have a great day. See you next time.